Hi guys, it's seeing Global Air Supplies again. I'm here with Pim from Aquamaster Tools. We're going to talk about the single E50 Pro pen and also the P50 Pro pH pen. The single pens, so you have an EC and a pH completely separate. I like these pens, these are my favorite pens because I'm a, a little bit of a lazy gardener. So I like testing my EC and testing my pH separately. So Pim, why did you bring out, you've got the combo meter. Yeah, that was, was, was our first, first product. Meter, yeah. Which is your pH and EC and temperature. Now you brought the pens out into just EC and pH. Why have you done that? Yeah, well, that's a good question, uh, Ian. Uh, first of all, these are the standard necessaries that everyone knows in the market. Yeah, we all started yeah. with these and there are a lot of guys on the market that still just love the single units. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of them to be fair. Yeah, yeah, and what we see really, really often is that there are a lot of people on the market, they already have a single unit pH pen or a single unit EC pen or both of them, and one of them breaks and they just have to replace one unit. Right, the EC on the pH, yeah? That's right, and where they don't want to buy a combo pen, they prefer to buy a single unit there, so yeah, we also brought our single units on the market, the single unit pH measurement devices and the single unit EC measurement devices. Uh, they're really popular. Uh, they have all the specifications that you actually need on a, on a single unit pen. Uh, that is a two point calibration on the pH. So it's two point on your pH? But also temperature. Temperature is a very important spectrum in a pH pen. I mean, without the temperature, you really don't know the correct value. Yeah. Uh, you cannot, you, all our products are also equipped with automatic temperature compensation. So they will compensate the temperature differences. So let's say when you're talking about automatically uh, compensate on temperature. So you put the pen inside your nutrient tank. Mm -hmm. and your nutrient tank is running at 18 degrees, the pen knows that it's running at 18 degrees and will adjust the pH reading for that temperature. That's correctly right. Because pH fluctuates between, and believe me, I've only just found this out, fluctuation from a pH on temperature is quite big, That's, especially yeah. when you're calibrating the pens. Yeah, and especially with hydro systems where it can fluctuate a lot, uh, there it's really important uh, to so have this. What, what would be the perfect tank temperature? Yeah, we always say that around between 18, 19 degrees is perfect because then you have enough uh, metabolism in your plant because of the temperature, but also enough oxygen in the in water. In the water, yeah, because yeah. the yeah. higher the water temperature, the less oxygen The less oxygen holds. you get, yeah. yeah. And it's also a nice stable uh, temperature to measure your EC. Uh, so we advise to just keep it, yeah, between 16 till 19 degrees, then you're set fine and you're also your root temperature is perfect. Yeah, I always try and keep the tank temperature 18 to 20 degrees. I think anything over 20 degrees, there's a potential you're getting root problems, you're getting pythium, yeah. things can grow in the tank uh, at that temperature. 18 degrees, it slows it all down. Yeah, and it will also slow down the growth of your crop in the end, yeah. uh, lower than like 17, uh, 18 degrees. So yeah, we really advise to keep your... Uh, so 18 is kind of magic, degrees a magic number. Yeah, it's the magic number. Benefits of our product is, uh, yeah, that's a screw wire on the cap so that you don't lose the storage liquid. We have a nice sponge in the cap to keep the probe wet. And the biggest benefit with all of our products is that we have a replacement probe on the EC. There are some other uh, brands who have that as well, but the problem with that brand is that the pro price is very close Almost to the product the same price. As the pen price. So yeah. it doesn't make sense to replace the probe. With us, the probe is less than half of the product price. So if you buy an Aqua Master Tools measuring device, you also have the benefit that you can replace the probe. And that's what I love about it. the quality of a probe is really, really good. Uh, we don't sell many replacement probes because they don't break. But if anybody does break the probe yeah. or you have any issues, it's a quick mail order uh, probe. Take it off, throw the old one away, put a new one back on, recalibrate, and you're back up and running. And it's almost like a brand new pen. Yeah, that's right, Ian. Yeah. And that's for the EC and the pH. For the EC and the pH, although the probe from the EC will last way, way longer yeah. than the pH, you are also able. Again, to but swap if you it. break the probe, you can just quickly replace the probe. Yeah, that's right. And you're back up and running with a brand new pen. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's completely waterproof. It's IP. it's IP67 waterproof. So that means that it's tested on the one bar of water pressure for 30 minutes long. So you, if you drop it in the tank, it should be fine. Uh, although we don't recommend to store it in the water. Yeah, uh, don't have it floating around yeah. in the tank. If you can see, there's a rubber... There's uh, a rubber rim that seals it off. Yeah, uh, you've got your little three 
pencil batteries yeah. in the top. Yeah. How long will the pencil batteries last? On the yeah, end? it has a, um, an auto shutdown function after eight minutes. So, so after eight minutes, if I leave it on, yeah, I it know. will shut down itself. So that will keep the battery safe for for yeah for at least one year. Right, because I know on some of the other pens that I've used in the past, you leave them on, you go to the room, they're you get dead them next off, time. They're yeah. completely dead. They're completely this, dead. So this actually is a really smart meter. So it uh, measures the temperature, the EC of a pH. Uh, it's temperature compensating, so yeah. it compensates on the temperature of the tank as well. Uh, replaceable probe. Yeah. It turns off after eight, eight minutes. minutes. That's correct. And calibrating it is really, really easy. I'm terrible at calibrating probes, uh, but these are really, really easy to calibrate. To make it more easier for you guys, all our uh, uh, products have a how-to video. In the videos, okay. we explain how to use a product, how to calibrate the product, how to replace the probe, but also how to troubleshoot the product if you have any problem. Uh, you can find the videos very easily. Just take your phone, scan the QR code on the box, and you can go directly to our how-to videos. Right, so that's, that's even better. Because like you say, we do get a few people calling up. We take them through the calibration process. PIM is always available on the phone. If you have a problem, generally, We'll bring the pens back, we'll check them. Generally, there's nothing wrong, but you're really happy sometimes just to replace the pens, just to keep the customers happy. But when you've come in today, we've had seven pens here, that which basically customers have sent back over the year. You've basically took them out, cleaned them, calibrated them, and they're working like brand new. And that's what we see very often, uh, Ian, that, uh, that the users are not aware that it's a measuring device, usually that, that is used in laboratories, so they need kept clean. Yeah, but again, people mistreat pH pens and EC pens. I mistreat EC and pH pens, but like you say, they're a, they're a technical tool and they need to be calibrated, they need to be looked after, and if you look after them properly, they will last for years. Well, we made our products really bulletproof, you've noticed that, yep. over the years, uh, but still the probes are sensitive devices, so it's important to maintain them, keep them clean, and like we just mentioned in the tip and tips and tops, keep your probes clean, keep them hydrated, uh, that's very important as well, keep them wet. Um, and yeah. would, would, you, would you keep both pens in uh, calibration fluid? No, only the pH probes need to be stored. So just the pH probes? Yeah, yeah, just the pH probes need to be stored in KCL storage solution. EC probes, you can just store them wet and dry. Preferably, that's even better because it will, uh, else the probes will oxidate over time. So EC probes, keep them dry, that's okay. just fine. And one of the biggest things, you coming over here, you've calibrated the pens that we had back. I've been watching you do this. One of the biggest mistakes even I used to make there is a calibration fluid. Well, it's not actually calibration fluid on the market. It's 2.76. Yeah, 2.7. That's a Blue Lab liquid. They yeah. made it for their own pens. You cannot calibrate the You cannot on calibrate that. Yeah. on that liquid. You can you, only check. You can only check. So if, yeah. you, if you've got that liquid, you can check the pen. Yeah. But you cannot calibrate that That's right. liquid. You have to calibrate with the... You one. don't, with the, the dead devices, you cannot calibrate them at all. I mean, for your for Yeah, your you pens. have to calibrate with 1.4 there. So 1.4 at the temperature that it stays on the bottle, and you can calibrate these consistently. Do not use the 2.7, because you cannot calibrate on it. You can test the pen, but you cannot calibrate on it. To be honest, Ian, all the other brands also use 1.4. So if you compare our products with uh, most, with the majority of the products which are available on the market, they all get so you can use any calibration fluid, any storage fluid, as long as it's the right one for the pen. Yeah, it's not brand compatible, it's value compatible. Same yeah. with pH, as long as you have pH 4, pH 7, you're fine and set to calibrate. Same with EC 1.4, it doesn't matter which brand you're using, if you're using the Aquamaster calibration liquid or Grove Technologies or whatever, you, as long as it's value compatible, you're fine and ready to go. That's great. So yeah. That is the single value pen, so that's the EC and the PH pen. So thanks for listening, guys. Thanks Thank again, you, guys. Ben.